Hi, okay, so this is part two in the video where we're looking at uh, ratio questions. We've got Arnie, Bethany and Carrie say some money in the ratio three to four to nine, okay? Carrie saved £150 more than Bethany. Well, let's just have a look at that for a minute. So we've got A to B to C and we're saying it's three to four uh, to nine. Okay. Well, if it was three to four to nine, that would mean that sixteen pounds was actually saved. In which case, Arnie would get three pounds, Bethany would get four pounds, and Carrie would get nine pounds. Okay. But it wasn't the case because we're told that Carrie saved £150 more than Bethany. Well, at the moment, she's only saved £5 more than Bethany. OK, so what we need to do is make that 30 times bigger in order for it to be £150. So we multiply this 5 by, 100, uh, by 30. And what it means then is that the difference between that and that will be £150. OK, well, let's see how that works with everything else as well. So I've got 9 times 30 would be 270. And 4 times 30 is going to be 100. So the difference between that and that is £150. But it also means then if I multiply that by 30 as well, I'm going to get 90. So actually in part A, it did show that Arnie saved £90. OK. Now, you might want to just do a little bit of text to go with that, just to make that clear. But the general area that you need to be highlighting is that at the moment, it's only £5 difference. We've actually got to make it 30 times bigger and make it £150 difference, in which case all of these values will need to be also multiplied by 30 as well. OK, so show that the total amount of money saved is 480. Well, that's OK, because if I add this, this and this together, I get 480. And that actually is a relatively straightforward part, uh, rel relatively straightforward answer to part B. OK, let's have a look then at um, question number nine. Brass is made from copper and zinc. The ratio of the weight of copper to the weight of zinc is 3 to 4. So basically, I've got copper and I've got uh, zinc in the ratio 3 to 4. OK, so if I was making 7 grams of brass, then I would have 4 grams of zinc and 3 grams of copper. OK, but we're being told that Simon made, what a great name, Simon made... 24.5 grams of brass altogether. So 24.5 means that I'm going to multiply that 7 by 3.5. So it's three and a half times bigger than the 7 grams I could start with if I had 3 grams of copper and 4 grams of zinc. OK, so in other words, like with all the others, I've got to multiply each of these numbers by 3.5 to get the amount of copper and the amount of zinc. So 3 times 3.5 is 10.5 and 4 times 3.5 is going to be 14. Now if I add those two together I'm going to get that. So I know that I'm correct. So the amount of copper that I used okay, is going to be 10.5 grams. OK, I think this must be another Simon because I've never made copper in my life. OK, so let's have a look at um, question number 10. Carrie and Josh share some money in the ratio of 2 to 7. Josh received £30 more than Carrie. Well, hopefully you're getting the idea now of how we can put these things together. So I've got Carrie and I've got Josh in the ratio of 2 to 7. Well, at that point, it means that Josh received plus Five. In other words, he received five pounds more than Carrie did. OK, but not according to the question. According to the question, he achieved 30 pounds difference. In other words, it's got to be multiplied by six to get that 30 pounds. OK, well, if that is the case, then I've got to multiply the seven times six and the two times six. That's going to give me 12 to 42 okay so how much money they each received well Carrie received 12 pounds and Josh 
received £42. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. That's the end of this particular video. So it was quite a long first video, but the second video has gone fairly quickly. Um, if you're not sure about anything, please do put a comment below and I'll always come back to you. I will also put a link through to these particular questions, which is on my website at 3 Minute Maths. Anyone else down these questions, download these questions and have a go at them for yourself. I um, hope it's been useful. Um, please do subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.